You've seen him on 90210, The 100 Foot Journey with Dame uh, Helen Mirren, and also Viceroy's House, a tremendous role there. Now he's on a Fox new medical drama series called The Resident. Manish Dayal joins us right now to talk all about uh, being a doctor, Dr. Devin Pravish. That's a very that's a very dignified name. To, nice to have you with us. Yeah, Manish. Thank, thank you so Manish. much. It's, See, I called you Danish, Manish, <laughs> Devin. Yeah, I mean, that's I think all you're, the you're characters mixing, in your You're mixing world. all the names. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all good. Um, the character name is Devin Pravesh. So, so yeah, you yeah. are now in now you're, you're now like in an emergency room setting. You're uh, having to learn all these medical terms. Tell me about the challenge of being a doctor on television. Oh well, look, it is. Uh, for sure, challenge the um, the the dialogue and the terminology that we have to understand and learn is can be challenging. But nothing could be more challenging than being a real doctor on the front lines right now. Yeah. So yeah. first, I want to say um, to pass on our gratitude to the frontline workers uh, who are out there just saving lives, and they're the reason why we're here and gone back to work. So thank you to the reals. Yeah, you know, I think that's really well said, and 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 I, I'm sure it's the thing about this is we can't imagine we couldn't have ever imagined what we're going through right now and what our frontline workers are going through. So I appreciate you saying that. It must make it even more heartfelt when you're on the set and you're going through the process of going through your lines with your fellow actors and understanding a little bit about what that pressure and tension must be like. Oh, um, I mean, for sure. I think. Um, you know, when trying to spotlight and illustrate what that environment looks like and how you're gonna, how you feel emotionally in these, um, in these crisis situations is, is very challenging. And you have to sort of imagine and believe everything that you're doing. I think that's ultimately what will um, lift these scenes and help sort of portray the stories that we're telling, which right now are, uh, at least in the first episode, revolving around this pandemic and the crisis, the crisis that everyone in this entire world is experiencing and it's uniting us in that way. So we're all experiencing this together. And um, I think it's up to us to not just honor those those healthcare workers, but uh, tell their stories in an authentic way and do so um, by bringing truth to them. And that's uh, what we're trying to do. Manish, tell me a little bit about your growing up years. What what do you think helped you become so creative and be you know drawn to the career of acting and being in these different roles that you've been playing uh, on film and on television? You know, I, I was actually talking about this before too. That um, there's something very uh, compelling and magnetic and unforgettable about that experience that you have when you when you see something that um, that ultimately helps you make the decision to do what you're going to do for the rest of your life. And for me, it was seeing um, a representation and reflection of, of a South Asian minority like myself being reflected on television and seeing what that looks like. How does that translate? And I remember it being a pretty powerful uh, experience, experience for me because um, we have not really been um, represented and portrayed on screen, especially when I was young. Um, and now it's it, the, the environment is completely changing. But when we were young, those those anyone in in, in 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 my shoes can remember that moment. And for me, that's where a lot of the creativity sort of started. It was about telling stories. How do we tell our stories? How do we control and um, and spotlight us, our people, and uh, and what our experiences like in the United States? And to me, um, that was the beginning of the story and the story that I wanted to tell. And then that grew to learning more and, and, and experiencing as much as I could. Um, and then, of course, I uh, started working professionally. And there we were are. Your, were your parents supportive of your decision to go into acting? They were. They were. They knew uh, that it was a passion of mine. And my parents have always supported my passions. I'm lucky in that way. Uh, I know a lot of people um, did not have that uh, support growing up. I did, thankfully. And they, like many of us, are learning as we go. You know, I think educating myself and educating our parents about the business is, um, especially when you start young, is something that, you know, you have to do, especially when, um, you know, you're treading new territory. Uh, it's not exactly uh, the easiest thing to do when uh, there's so few jobs for, for, you know, ethnic minorities like yourself. So, um, yeah. That's always, that's always a challenge and always going to be because our, our 
our communities are constantly evolving. So it's about how do you accurately represent them uh, in the right way. Well, you're definitely a trailblazer and a pioneer in this space. I mean, I, I, as I go through this, as I scan the, you know, Netflix and Hulu and all of these things, and and you start to find like South Asian comedians who are coming to the fore and and and, and laughing at their culture and, and introducing yeah. us to the richness and the beauty of what that is. You're playing a doctor uh, yeah. going through the residency process, which is, of course, you know, a high level really intense uh, uh, work that you have to do as an actor. Oh, yeah. So that's, I mean, cardiac, that's part of it, right? Yeah, it is. You know, um, it's about being real, but also, you know, we're telling, we're ultimately a TV show telling a story. But, yeah. you know, cardiac ICUs are jam-packed with Indians and Nigerians. In fact, the majority. So we're, we're actually reflecting in this particular scenario, the majority. And I found that pretty interesting too, because um, – there are so few Indian doctors on TV right now, which is puzzling, but it is in fact, the opposite reality exists, right? right. So that's really, that's really interesting to know. And, um, you know, it's also about the kind of stories that we're telling on The Resident, for example, we're introducing people from, um, from all different backgrounds and, and, and also being very diverse in the medical stories that we're telling, because you'll see cases of Alzheimer's or cases of, um, of rare disease and so on and so forth that can relate to everyone, because everyone on this planet, if they're lucky and, and they should, have access to healthcare and a physician and a hospital. And that is, it should be a right, but it is um, not always the case. And so I think we can all relate to the show for that reason. Well, Manish, you're having a lot of success. You've been in some great, you've had some great roles, works with ter terrific actors around you and directors. So I wish you the best of luck and continued success to you. The show is called The Resident. It's on Fox. It's so nice to talk with you. So great uh, to be here. Thank you for having me, man. I appreciate it.